Hi everyone, welcome to the Sack Race Reacts. We're reacting to the news that Jason Tindall has left Bournemouth today on Wednesday morning. I'm with Charlie from Betting Odds. Charlie, how are you doing? I'm good, Jack. Thanks for having me on. It's been a it's been an interesting morning seeing that news. So uh, look forward to going into the market. So we're going to run through a few early names in the frame for the job, starting with Jonathan Woodgate, who only arrived at the club on Monday. It's not even been 48 hours since he's been there as first team coach. He's now one of the early favourites to replace Tyndall. Can you see this one happening? I would be shocked. I'd be really surprised. He's gone into favourite. Um, I, I saw you. I saw you tweeted about him the sack race. I don't know. I don't know if people have sort of put them two and two together, but I think the Bournemouth fans would not be happy. Um, as he had one managerial experience with Middlesbrough, which didn't go well at all. Um, the Bournemouth fans have not been happy for a while, so they need to get this appointment right. Um, I, can't see, I can't see Woodgate getting it, so I think the market could be, could be value elsewhere. Yeah, Woodgate, of course, did manage uh, Middlesbrough last season. It didn't go to plan, but could he have an opportunity to get right back into the mix with Bournemouth? Right, an inevitable name is Eddie Howe, the former Bournemouth boss who's still out of work since leaving the club last season. He, of course, propelled them from League Two up into the Premier League, where he spent five seasons. He's been linked with so many jobs. We think he wants to return to the Premier League. Could he now return to the Premier League with Bournemouth? Surely not. Never go back, as they say. Um, as a Watford fan, I've experienced his first hand of Sanchez, Kike, Flores, um, I can't see this one happening either. Um, Eddie, Howe's got, Eddie Howe's got to be looking to go forward. I think you mentioned the Crystal Palace job in the summer with Roy Hodgson's situation. And I could definitely see Eddie Howe fitting in there. And I'm sure another name that we're going to be mentioning in a bit could be linked to that job as well. But I really can't see Eddie Howe going back. It'd be, it'd be two step back in, in my eyes, but who know, you never know in football. He did, of course, go back, but... Is there a saying, never go back once again? I don't know. We'll we have to see with that one. John Terry is there. But before we get on to him, Frank Lampard, we've just done a video recently on the Sacros Weekly. Five options for Frank Lampard. We briefly mentioned Bournemouth, but to be honest, not, not too much. He, we believe, would want a Premier League return as well. Of course, he's just managed Chelsea. You think he'll want to be back in the Premier League. He's likely to be recharging his batteries at the moment. But if he wants to get straight back into the mix, his uncle Harry, of course, managed Bournemouth in the 80s. Could he be the man? Would Bournemouth want him, do you think? Yeah. I, I, when I saw Bournemouth's results last couple of weeks, um, they were losing some big games at home, and then Lampard got sacked, I thought this could be a really good match for both of them. Um, I think this is the right kind of step for Frank Lampard. After the derby, maybe this was a step he should have made instead of Chelsea. I know you can't turn down the Chelsea job, but that higher championship level, you could arguably say that's the same as sort of Steven Gerrard's level, but I think this is perfectly suited for Frank Lampard. I think he's going to be one of the itching to get back in um, to prove people wrong and prove his credentials. I think if they come to him with an offer, um, I could see him being really interested. I think the two to one could be a good price. And I think it opened up at sevens, didn't it, when the market first opened? Straight away, but it was quickly, uh, quickly shortened. Uh, John Terry is well in the mix around the 10 to 1 mark. Lampard's former teammate, of course, has been linked with a few jobs in the past. He's at Aston Villa doing pretty well there as a coach. I don't see him leaving just yet, but if he's offered and he wants to go alone, we see Rooney, Lampard, Gerrard, he might want to follow in their footsteps and branch out into the managerial arena. I personally like the look of Paul Cook. Again, another name who's linked with absolutely everyone. He's won league titles for three different clubs, including Bournemouth's rivals, Portsmouth. He's been hotly linked with uh, Sheffield Wednesday recently. Been going in and out of the favourite. Has he had talks? We don't know. You never really know. Apparently, he turned down a short-term contract. Their owner's a bit of a nutter. But the Bournemouth hierarchy seems a bit more stable. Paul Cook, could we finally see him return? It'd be a good opportunity for him, and I'm sure he'd want to take it, but... Has he got the credentials? Because they want to go straight back up. Well, that's what he's looking for, isn't it? Uh, he wants a club with ambitions of getting to the Premier League. I think, personally, he has got the credentials. I think he did well in the Championship with Wigan. Obviously, quite unlucky there when they got relegated. It wasn't, wasn't his fault, of course. They got that 12-point deduction. He, he's got a winning mentality. He's passionate. I'm sure he'll fire up 
the fan base. I like to see him have another have a crack if, if offered. But there's a few other names. Danny Cowley is the time right for him. I know Charlie, you spoke to him with the sack race in the summer. Do you think this could suit both parties? Yeah, definitely. I think I think they'd be well suited. The type of club Bournemouth are and Danny Danny and Nicky Cowley's kind of philosophy. Um, I think it could be a good match. Again, a bit of a risk because they haven't they sort of managed a Huddersfield, which I think they did a good job. They avoided relegation. Um, it didn't work out for one reason or another. But I think if they if they're in it for maybe a longer term and they can sort of risk not going up this year, I think it could be a good match and something for the future. The problem is, and I know Bournemouth will have a massive wage bill, so for them to not go up this year would be absolutely massive. They'd lose the likes of David Brooks, um, and they've got some other really good players. So I'm not too sure if they're going to need to get some proven track record to take them straight back up. It, they're still in the playoff places, which is remarkable, because they've lost four in the balance. It just shows the quality of the championship this year is not as good as it has been. So if they can get someone in to challenge, do you know what I mean? Automatic's not too far away. They've still got a good chance to go back up. Um, I don't know if Danny Cowley could do that immediately, have that click straight away, but long term, I think it could be a good option. You mentioned that it's not often you see a job crop up with a club chasing promotion and in the playoff places. It's such an attractive uh, opportunity for anyone. Finally, to end up on, Harry Redknapp at 20 to 1. Could this one happen? Surely not, surely not, not Uncle Harry coming back in. I mean, if, if, I can see maybe as an advisor, did he do that at Derby County? Um, but I don't know, who knows, Frank Lampard, with Harry, Harry Redknapp helping him in some sort of capacity? You'd love to see it, you'd love to see it. Thank you, Charlie. You can check out all the odds at thesackrace.com.